Welcome to our lecture online and here's our last example where we have a graph and we're trying to find the equation to, that goes along with the graph. Of course, it's going to be either sine or cosine function. Uh, this would be the y-axis and this here is the x-axis. So first, let's determine the amplitude and it's clear that it goes from plus 5 to minus 5. So know that the amplitude is equal to 5. Now, what about the period? The period P is equal to, well, it's the distance from the beginning to the end of the, the cycle, one single cycle, one single period of the function. So from minus a quarter to plus three quarters looks like the period from there to there is equal to one. All right, there, that looks a little different. Normally the period is in terms of pi, but in this example, it's simply from minus one quarter to plus three quarters, so the period is equal to one. And uh, that means that the number that goes in here in the equation, the period factor B, can be found by taking 2 pi divided by the period, which is 1, which is equal to 2 pi. So that means that the number over here needs to be a 2 pi. We also see that the function is shifted, and since it starts from y equals 0, it looks like a sine function has been shifted to the left, like that. And so you can see that the phase shift is equal to a quarter, and it's been shifted to the left, so we're going to have to add that phase shift to it. Plus a quarter will make the whole thing move to the left a quarter. So I think now we're ready to write the equation. So y is equal to the, the amplitude, which is 5. We're going to make that a sine function because it starts at y equals 0, the sine function. For b, the period factor, we have 2 pi. So sine times 2 pi. And here we have x plus or minus, since the, since the shift is to the left, it's going to be plus, and the shift is going to be 1 quarter, plus 1 quarter. And that will be the way you write this function. So a little different in this case, but again, if you go to the very same steps, you follow the equation, you follow the formula there, it's very straightforward to come up to the right equation. And that's how we do that.